The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interest at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Anybody else ready to pop? Yes, sir. Let's I'm glad it. to hear it. I might, check, I'm in check. such a great mood. I might need my headphones. These shorts are not appropriate for this couch. There's no way to slice it. I keep trying to get a little sag. It's Moose Knuckle Monday, man. It's, it's not. <laughs> Yeah. I just ran from that glow reel of moose knuckle comment. I, I run from it. Yo, you know they, they it used to be uh, the other way around. They didn't yeah, refer to moose knuckle for yeah. women. That's what I was saying. It's like moose knuckle is dudes. Yeah, that's what it used to be. Back camel toe is women. Yeah. Oh, see, now I heard they co-opted it. Nah, yes. the camel toe was the smaller one, and then the moose knuckle yeah. was just. I would prefer moose to knuckle have. was for the bitches that went and got the lipo on yeah. their pussy lips. They went and got fat by a little <laughs> fatter. They took the added fat, put it right there. That's just super fat now, like the steroid. Nigga, that's disgusting. Is that attractive to you? Then, uh, two questions at once. Okay. So he, said, <laughs> he, he, he made a statement and said, oh, that's disgusting. You think that's disgusting, Imani? Yeah, that's nasty. Well, make it fat, my fat. And feet were nasty at some point. Hmm. Uh, that's true. When I was 16, eating pussy seemed nasty. Uh -huh. That's true. A lot of them when I was 18, nasty. eating ass seemed nasty. <laughs> that's true. A lot of them, change, right? A lot of them get vaginal rejuvenations, nigga. It's not nasty. It's yeah. usually when they get their shit cleaned up. You not like fucked up. You like fucking chicks with lipo. Yeah. I do it sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes, if the lipo lady is generous, she would move it over to a little other section. Put it down right there on that Word. fat mom. She put it right there. Yeah. And then send them on to the recovery house. Yep, plump, plump them right on up. Pump and, it up. And, and and Joe, shut up. So to answer you he now, little Miss Mamas, when you bump into the good version of that, it's a slice. Got it. Mm. It's Noted. A, it's a or slice. they get the coogee sweater. It's a slice. Yeah. The coochie sweater for the coochie? Yeah, that should be looking They got to fix that coochie sweater, yeah, nigga. They got to fix that. We have such a special guest in the coochie building today. Coochie sweater, coochie. We have such a special guest. I'm so happy that our guest is here today, but I do wish the, he had come here about two months nah. before this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I feel like he ran from us two months ago. He heard what the fuck we said. He said something on Twitter. Huh? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, we got him. He coming up. But he did not come up. Didn't reach out. Nobody. Publicist, marketing firm, manager, uh -uh. label, nobody reached out. It's quiet. Yeah. Then his project dropped. And I won't lie to the people of America. It was really, really good. Mm -hmm. It was really, really, really good. I'm not Dang. saying that because he's here. I said it behind his back. Mm -hmm. And then he popped up to show face. Smart. <laughs> I hate when these niggas do like shit like peak, that. Like now, the last time kid. our guest was here, mm -hmm. when I tell you he was talking boo, cool shit, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. Tell your crew of 90 not to throw nothing on <laughs> at me while I'm talking. <laughs> they came in here, they deep. He was mm -hmm. talking like Robert Redford himself, Billy D. Williams. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then he went ghost, radio silent. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm not gonna let you do him like that. He nah, was doing some silent. books. Some features didn't save him a lick. But a Christmas some features joint. didn't save him a lick. It looked like a nigga trying to stay afloat with some niggas he shouldn't be with. Mm. That's what it looked like. Mm. But album time. When it's time to put together your own body of work, let's see what you stand on. You're going to give us nine joints. You're going to try to mixtape EP this out. He stood on it. 20-something joints. 22. I'm not going to call them interludes, <laughs> but that pissed me off too, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen. This is a guy that he is a member of the outside boys. Niggas is outside with motion and jewelry and money. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. You can tell when they come in. He's one of those people you look to the door and want to see who is making their entrance. It's a lot of commotion over there. Is it mm. safe to continue to be here? Is oh, it somebody yeah. with some slaps? Is it somebody that's going to get on stage with the strippers and they pants sagging and wrap some bullshit? You got to know when it's time to dip. Mm -hmm. But we have none other than Capella Gray in the building. Thank you for having me. 
Yo, can I say I, I like I like seeing that though from mm. the, especially from the New York artists. Yeah. I don't want to label you just as a New York no, artist, yeah, but you rap New York. But time. niggas sing. I like seeing niggas who sing still walk in and come on now. Who like that? Yeah, walk, like walking in what? Yeah, look, seventeen niggas in their yeah, hands. like some kids still get beat up. They ain't got a rap. Take oh their hand out their hoodie yet? Jesus, <laughs> man. Nigga hand been in his hoodie for forty hours. Jesus, <laughs> man. Bob responsibly, you man. It. You still never heard of something crazy, it. even though we've been That's outside. That's a fact. That's yeah. That Bob is true. responsibly, we good. There's we good something guys. to maneuvering responsibly. True. Mm -hmm. But last time you was here, the shit that you was talking in terms of just knowing your value. Mm -hmm. And knowing what you want out of this thing yeah. didn't sound like a nigga that is ready to just risk it all outside. Like yeah. we was just talking about that. We were just talking so. about that. Like if I sometimes I go places where the headline the next morning if something were to happen here when my niggas see it they're mm -hmm. gonna say this motherfucker he <laughs> didn't know he wasn't supposed to be there at that time mm -hmm. valeting some shit at mm -hmm. Hutch Point mm -hmm. like. So yeah, I want to commend you for that too. We ain't never heard about you in no shit. Never, at never all. in no miscellaneous mm -hmm. nothing. Because we vibe responsibly. We got a lot to do and a lot to lose. You want us? You want change. us to start with love or hate here? Mm. Whichever one. I'm here for. Oh, you. let's go hate. Let's go hate first. I like that you don't say we could conclude the vibe with love. I normally like to start with love and lead to the hate. Oh well, well now nah, I'm, I'm, I'm we'll, on the Joe Budden we'll podcast, first. brothers. Yo, what's your world? Would you like to address? Uh, the people who think you have been silent since your smash? Um, address, besides saying that, you know what I'm saying, listen to the album, and then it's going to make sense in a second. We just had to take our time and make it make sense so that when we do drop it, it's not, I'm not really like kind of just begging you to listen to it twice or anything. We just, I just want to make sure I had the right body of work and just had the right plans in motion so that we could do it right. Is anything different about your label situation since last time you Oh, were? absolutely. Please sure. tell us more. Um, so, well, the first joint did really well, and um, you know, and we were able to make some things make sense. Here. Hey, have a label. So we here. Nah, I'm, listen, we here. So because of that first single, you know what I'm saying, that went well, you know what I'm saying, the deal, we were able to, you know, maneuver and do what we do, and now we're out of that deal. You know what I'm saying? No. Yes. All right, so no what? I'm not gonna skip over. That's not how this interview is. <laughs> well, about I can't do that. No, right. sir, we right, got So you gotta lead it, because you know me. I'm now, when he first came, he ain't have a deal. Yes, I yeah, did. He did. I was yeah, with Capital. I thought you was on the table. No, no I was with Capital. Oh, that table, those oh, niggas ate the table. Gun <laughs> last <laughs> they were, they were, it, it, was, it was a beautiful run. When, when beautiful. he came up here, yeah. it was stick up time, stick him up. I remember. And I you stuck here. him up. Yeah. I heard in the street before any of that. Yeah. So I know what niggas was asking for, and yeah. you got it. So explain to us <laughs> how. <laughs> so, all right. So basically, we were able to present the situation because it was as. I mean, it was a, it was a, a JV situation, a label now, situation. I want to know how they let you go. Well, Gallus was I really know how good, you got there. And we just, you know what I'm saying, we good at what we do. So we were able to maneuver and get out of there. That's all do they good. still have rights? To what? Anything moving forward. Come on, brother. No, sir. We went 10K now. I'll pack the family in 10K. It's a beautiful thing. Shout out to Capital. Oh, they, they bought them out. Yeah, it's over. Huh? Oh, they did that. No, oh, absolutely no. It was another bit of war right out. Where, where you been at, brother? At the top of this year. You, you, this is where you're losing me. There is no bidding war if you was on fish grease, on uh -huh. fire, mm -hmm. and I paid you to be here. Mm -hmm. yeah. There is no bidding war. You made your money, brother. You made your money. I made my money. Don't be, I, feel like, I feel like what's happening is for real. And I feel like that's why I don't understand this, because you be outside too, so you understand what Gallus is. Gallus is like the new like the new groundhog. It comes every year. It's, like a, it's a very special situation. With it what only, Gallus is. You right under Mariah's little Christmas box. You, you know what I'm saying? Once you once you hear that song, you know it's about to get a little warm out. It's, it changes the energy of the club now. If you're beefing during Gallus, there's something wrong with you. There's a certain energy that's there. And so it's real safe and real vibey. So it's everywhere. And I feel like a lot of people just don't really understand how much even they know Gallus. They know from the beginning to the end, every lyric. Do so, you care about do you care about the small group of people that what do they try to say? Cause of Gallus in Baychester. That, say what? Uh, hey, the sample. Get them off that sample. I'm tired. That of sample, him no. Then they're just misinformed. The first song was, I guess, Gallus was a sample of "Back That Ass Up," and they just gonna be outside of us, so they don't know. I guess uh, "Speaker Knockers," uh, um, uh, 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 "Free Code." That's a whole different song. It's a whole different energy. Those are two the whole different moments in the club. People just don't be outside enough to know that. So I'm not even mad at them. They just misinformed. So here they could, you know, what I'm saying, put y'all on. So a whole different songs, a whole different 
different situation. And they're like three years apart. So I don't even understand certain talks, really. So you went and got another big bag. You know what I'm saying? We made it make sense. From 10K, too. <laughs> you, know you know what I'm saying? You, you, know, you know whose son run that. You just had to make it make sense. And there's no disrespect to Capital because Capital, they, you know what I'm saying, and essentially they're, you know, they're a good label, big label, been successful since, you know what I'm saying, since forever. It was, there was just a lot of just, you know, little miscommunications and just, you know, there was a lot of team switch ups. I signed to a, to a, I signed to one person, I signed to a, a, a CEO, and it's a next CEO. In the next four months, so I, got, I got to reintroduce myself and all that. All the teams, the A&R I signed to, the A&R that found me in the dirty afties. Nico, shout out Nico. Found me in the dirty afties on the joint. A white mm -hmm. guy, crazy, something wrong with him. Found me, <laughs> made the whole situation work. Him gone, three, four months after I'm there. Solomon, shout out to Solomon. Him gone, everybody that I got. Because realistically, when we were doing the bidding war at first, I wasn't, it wasn't really like a label I was trying to sign to. I just wanted to sign to who I felt like had the best team at the time. You know what I'm saying? That could really move with me. I thought that would have been the smarter thing. So that team that won the bidding war, all of them gone from digital to PR. Everybody gone within a couple of months. Mm -hmm. See, he talking about the inward view of all these layoffs. Mm -hmm. Right. That was crazy. It was wild. It was a wild time. Everybody was getting laid off. Now, mind you, if you look at the timeline of things, Gallus dropped the 4th of January in 2021. The next single didn't drop until the next year, 2022 January. It was so much conflict and so much going on that they didn't even have it to. We, my next single didn't even get to drop until the next year. So even though we had, I felt like the right situation, you know what I'm saying, with, with finances and with everything was supposed to make sense. It was just different players were changing around and just just certain little circumstances and stuff like that behind the scene. Yeah, but like I get that, but essentially, isn't C Capital and 10K the same thing? Heavens no! Come on, bro. You know this. You know that. That's I don't not, know. No. To explain it. To so me. all right. So. Capital, man, no. So capital, <laughs> <laughs> that's under the Universal system, but uh, 10K is owned by the son of the person that owns Universal, and now they're with Warner now. That's a whole different system now. Bingo. Yeah, I wasn't even, I wouldn't even have done the deal, part. a new yeah. deal under, I, it was just, it just, everything has got to make sense, that's it. Quick quick question, you feel like um, there was anything over there that you could have did different? Even with the oh, for sure, absolutely. So with the deal that I signed, I still had, I still had a lot of creative freedom for real. Being transparent, I had a lot of creative freedom. My mindset coming into this thing was, I'm, I'm nice at what I do, and I got me to this point where they care about what I'm doing. But it's capital. They've been capital since capital. They see number ones. They understand momentum. I'm just kind of trusting mm -hmm. that the system that I signed into would know what the next move was. I'm not trusting my neck. I'm just. I'm, only, I'm 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 more happy that I got into the situation. I right. could bring my vibes to whatever. I could make the songs, I guess. What I, not I guess, but I could make the songs and all that. But I'm thinking that this y'all know marketing. I don't know nobody in Australia. Make me number one in Australia. Who I gotta talk to? Who I gotta get in front of? Mm -hmm. I don't know nobody in LA like that. Put me in front of the big boys and whoever is over there and make it make sense over there. And I'll do my part to meet y'all halfway. But then when I'm re meeting new staff members and then a next then a next set of new staff members and then now it's at the point where it's like all right i'm not interested in convincing y'all or reintroducing myself or reintroducing these it's all good let's mm. let's 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 I, I don't i feel like i trusted in me being nice enough to where i feel like i could get the motion back it's just it's let's just let's just finish this and let's make it make sense no disrespect to anybody but let's just make this make sense because i got shit to do so so to get out you of got that, that done rather quickly too that that's how i got jammed up people don't realize the importance to an artist and how your career could get jammed the fuck up mm -hmm. with the changing of seats at the label mm -hmm. you feel me so i feel like even the guy even the last squad that was there shout out to them because it was like it was moving people with like priority and all that and they, they still have a great team because they're still doing great with some of the artists that are there. It just wasn't going to work. There was just certain plans that I had just in the timeline of things. Everything just had to make sense. So, yeah. And then as soon as I got out of Capitol, first thing I did, Baychester. We back in effect. So to get out like of the Capitol like. deal, though, did you have to... Like was was the contract already fulfilled? Everything done? Like whatever on your part? So you technically, to, like, all, it was like, so technically with like Gallus and them, we were contractually all the all the obligations were were figured out. But there was like one piece where they still needed a some kind of tape. So we put out a joint called Here Damn Here Comma Damn, and it had like seven songs on there real quick. Boom, 
out of the deal officially. Got it. And now we here. There you go. The Christmas project is on Capitol or that's on 10K? No, the Christmas Capitol is that's an ATF record. I'm hating on these mm, yeah. movies, man. Beautiful. It works oh, out. Oh my lord. You gotta take advantage of what you got. We have the internet, we have certain things where I feel like could, you being they stuck can in situation. drop projects and get out of mm-hmm. contracts. They yeah. We could not drop. They, they would stop y'all from dropping. You couldn't drop. <laughs> like, no, you're not dropping until we say you drop. But this the relationship with Capitol wasn't like Sour or anything like that, where it was like they would want to like shelve me and keep me there or something like that. So I, that wouldn't have even been necessary. So shout out to them for even allowing me That's to even the do other part. Hmm? That's the labels the... today might you might luck up and they work with you to Please. organize this to make release. it make sense. I mean, and plus nobody wants to be the the butt end of a of a of a horror story industry horror story right now in twenty twenty four because artists be dragging in, mm. want to do all the most Niggas on the internet mics. and all that. Where it's no crazy yeah. bad mics blood and with podcasts. It just got to make sense, that's it. And, like, the difference between back back then and today, labels ain't got to send nothing out to get pressed up. They don't have to do, yeah. like, everything is a push of a button now. So, they back right then, the money that they got to spend. no problem beefing with you because you ain't have that much of a fucking voice and your career wasn't doing nothing For without sure. us anyway. Absolutely. So, you want to be mad, yeah. niggas, they don't want to be mad. Absolutely. Today, that looks a little different. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. your favorite joint on this album is what? Uh, it depends on the mood, for real, to be honest with you. Sexy time. Uh, that many, would be. How many different like moods sexy, you think you got going on the album? Twenty-two. Oh, get the fuck out of here, Capella <laughs> Gray. Capella Gray. Listen to it again, brother. I've listened to it nine hundred times in the and wrong context. You probably listened to it all in the same room or something. Nah. I'm well, lit. then I got you. So I'm gonna show you how to listen to the album. I got you. Give me a second. So with that one, the 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 sexy time, <laughs> right? That vibe right there. I have a song with Jaquees. It's nuts. It's crazy. It's a whole different vibe. That's a bedroom vibe. If I'm Wake up in the morning I'm feeling like Unusually new money of get, get Next type of vibe Fly shit That's featuring Jay Wan And and and, and um and Young and May This going nigga crazy. sell water To a fucking oh, well Oh please It's <laughs> warming up brother <laughs> Yeah go ahead But for real bag. We got songs like Baychester Feel like money in the air Going crazy I just moves hey. like that Come on Then we got songs like Poison Yo, If you're a bird. in the missing mode <laughs> Oh that's everybody. my shit Right in the poison Poison is crazy If I'm feeling more like a I don't know I want just some just More vibe up here with it Type here More north of the chest You see you Get him in that vibe Come on Now I'm trying to show you What's going on There's something for everybody on here I'm trying to show you Who did, who did, who did, who did Poison? Yeah. Who produced Poison? Who Dizzy, produced? Oh Dizzy Banco You know Don't play with it Dizzy what oh, up please Dizzy. Dizzy Banco So that's Dizzy Banco And uh, and uh, Omar Grand That's my with, shit uh, Mustard now And then I got the Chico My man Bearded He added the additional production Cause you know We church niggas So we gonna do the little Warm vibes on the uh-uh. hey, And then we call that it. a day It's a movie <laughs> Yo, listen, I mean, no, welcome listen. to me. Now we here, bro. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, <laughs> he was working. 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 He was we have access to a lot. I know this can go crazy from here. Now it's like I've kind of seen a lot. I've seen where we at with it. I've seen where the levels are. And I see that there's really no ceiling. So I feel like now that we've been able to, you know what I'm saying, create motion out of nowhere with no no mix up. I ain't get popping again with no celebrity shorty, no no mm. beef with nobody, no miscellaneous nothing. You heard? The most people got to say about me is, oh, he he's too sure of, of what's going on. He's too sure of himself, if anything. I don't mind that signal. There was no fit. They, through that whole process, there was never a moment where he was like, damn. No self-doubt. No, no, self, no, no, nothing. No, man. That's what I'm saying. We make, I'm in the studio every day. So it's like, there's a, the gallus is a minute and 45. There's a billion O's in the, in the laptop. It's a matter of just timing now. Mm. For each joint, timing. The one with Jacquees, it got to hit in the right timing. Because if you're listening to a car with your niggas, you don't want to hear the joint with Jacquees. Mm. Everything's about timing, placement and all that. I'm learning. What are you applying to this run and opportunity that maybe you didn't the first go round and have learned from the first go round. Way more gas. So as soon as I got my deal, I kind of took the back seat a little bit with kind of just the marketing too much. I was kind of just putting just almost blind trust in a thing. So I was kind of just chilling as opposed to doing what got me in the first place and just kind of using the label as just an extra battery. We got a crazy idea. Yo, fund this. We, I want to do this. All right, yo, do this right here. Y'all know niggas in Egypt that will make this make even more sense. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm just learning to just keep the gas going and work with the label better. So I feel like we're in a really good situation now. Mm. Just doing the most. I'm, I'm, I'm planning on dragging it, like I said before. Gas 
as many before you have learned mm -hmm. costs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why you make the situation make sense. Hey yo, what? Yo, this nigga, he, yo. He be, hey, nah, what's I'm up, telling man? you. What, you, what, what what's your background? You Jamaican? Answer. You know the vibe. Huh? I don't know. Nah, nah, nah I know. I, you, he up to something, man. <laughs> I watch Miami. <laughs> so like, now, you up to something I know. Now. So look, I understand that. You come that. with a thousand niggas, and you talk a lot of that shit, and you, and, and, you, and, you, and you show about yourself. I like that. Jamaican shit, I respect it. But there's something about you, man. I'm going to listen a little bit deeper, because uh -huh. I got to crack the code. There's something no, about this nigga, man. I'm here for it. I feel like on this run, No, I don't listen to this nigga. He talking that fly. It's just fucking my brain up. It's New York, nigga. He walk and talk like a nigga that is... Absolutely That's, certain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, if I go in the studio, I'm leaving with a slap. Fire is coming out. He yeah. talks like that. Yeah. Even so, when he talk about getting out the record label, he talking like some. If I think about some old school shit, you know when niggas had to go up to the label and get out of a shit. That's how I'm taking it. I'm thinking all type of. He no, but that's why thing. I don't know what your album sold. <laughs> I don't know what happened week one. I didn't look for it. I didn't care. My conversation with you coming back up here was going to be after talking all of that macho man Randy Savage, <laughs> exactly. it better be heat on this project. I don't give a fuck if it sell one copy. And it was, though. And it was. It was. Yeah, you've so, been saying, you saying, you been saying that. Shut me up. Yeah. So now, that's what I'm saying. That's why I feel like we had to take time because let's say if I put out the, the okay project that people usually put out in their first year, mm -hmm. I feel like I wouldn't be able to talk as spicy. I had to make it really make sense. What, even down to the track list, what song come after what? All of that. And <laughs> Now, with this run, like you were saying, it do cause. So, with the ideas that we have, and I feel like the opportunity, because I'm putting together the VR network, I'm, trying, I'm about to take over fashion, all of that. And I know in order to do that, you got to be either, you have to either make a certain amount of capital, or you got to partner with the right or the right situation that's going to make it make sense or whatever. So, we did the bidding war, now we in effect. Hey, yo, when your young ass really get some money, money. No, 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 money, money. No, no, ish. What's ish. money, money? Ish. What's money, money? Because yeah. niggas don't have that money, money. Uh, yeah. Man, you play with these young niggas 50. around. 50, 50 what? Oh, man. that's okay. money, money? That's, that's fair. What you 50 million right. is right, money, so money? How old are you? Tonight's talking crazy. I'm 28. What the fuck is you talking about? Joe, you said 50 uh, million. Ish. You said 50 yeah. million, right? Yeah, yes. that's for, money, money. No, yes, that's money, money, money. That's money, money. 30 years old? That's wealth. Soon. I'm not there yet. Soon. At 30 years old, 50 that's million, not money, money. That's money, money. That's money, money. It's not money, money. Yeah, yeah. word. It's yeah. 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 45. Money, money. That bar is high. Yeah. 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 That's what I said. Yeah. You talking wealth. No, I thought y'all was dissing it. No, I thought so. No, no, no. We ain't with you. 50 million is money, money. That, no, no but what's, yeah, we gonna what's making it though? I'm uh, telling you, what's, what's it regular one? Like, like, music, film. One I just one. understand, just you know, what I'm saying the potential of all this and what this really means to have celebrity for real and to be known for good vibes. I'm, I'm not taking none of this lightly because now we can get into film. I could put together incredible because I'm not no acting ass nigga. I'm not that guy, but. I want to be able to put together movies that's going to be in the same conversation as like, no, I'm here. I love this. Thing. <laughs> I'm the same, Wait, the same, the same conversation, conversation as well. Yeah. For real, yeah. 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 Say something like Purple Rain. Uh, so I can get up and walk the fuck out of here. I'm just saying. Uh, I'm with him. Yeah. I'm with him. All right. Wait, Wait. Movie. So movies now, like what? The same with conversation movies like, as... I got you. Movies like Paid in Full, movies like The Poetic Just, just movies okay. that are culturally okay. important. You want to write? You want to Without it being, but now hold on. Without... Without it being, because no disrespect to like the Tubi genre of things or nothing like that, but I want to really, really, really dive into this film thing for real, because now we're giving opportunities to directors, the actors that really want to do this. Now we're taking people off of Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Now you're off of reels. Because there's some people that you just see that potential is crazy. We can get to film for real, go crazy with that. With the fashion, ain't no real, well, there's a couple, no disrespect, there's a couple of New York City brands that are putting it on for real and doing anything. Mm -hmm. But I feel like we got to be in the department stores with it. We need, I need, I'm not even the most fashion ass nigga, but there's I know some incredible designers around New York yeah, and we put them in the same room facts. with the best marketers in New York and now what we have a movie it's up stores. out here we need this what, what, what department stores? I like his vision are you crazy I'm even, asking. even down from the Macy's even when I go to Cross County I need I need to see one I need to see a, a store not the little side the little, when I go now, to hold Cross on, hold County on. hold on hold on, on. Hold on. Hold on. Bay Plaza put me right yo listen yo that's what I'm gonna ask something is wrong with no 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 listen you feel like you got that's where they at chill out chill out chill out the people that I want the yo I'm not gonna lie if you've been there recently I'm just being honest with you because I know alright no problem so I see how you 
be at you probably be at like um uh, Bird Right. And, that, and that's so beautiful for real. That's great. Relax. If we that don't in, represent that don't represent the the market the or message, the price point yeah. that we can all you know, afford. No me on I right now. That. The average yo, the, the average shorty, the average baddie that's don't even she sometimes she'll be at a spot, sometimes she don't. Third grade teacher or something like that. The, the CNA. Them shorties is what's really putting me on for real. I like the CNA. I want those shorties to be able to go to Cross County when they get a little, little Cinnabon and, and, and the woo woo and ah. Uh, <laughs> nigga get go to my store. <laughs> I need that whole vibe. Yo, you understand what I'm saying? Yo, you feel crazy. You understand me? Yo, come on. Come on now. You feel like you feel like you got you feel like you got uh you feel like you got New York on your back? I got New York on my back. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now I was asking, you feel like you got New York on your back a little bit? I feel like I do, especially uptown. I feel like we get I feel like we get more support than hate. Cause I wasn't feeling like that up before a couple months ago, but then I realized that even the people that were like hating on me for real. They weren't really haters. They were just waiting for me to do some wavy shit for real. They just, I feel like I to see you New York right. need to get behind something wavy or something like that. Because I hear you saying, all the shit you saying is, even with the movie shit, you, you, the first movie you went to was paid in full. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how New York yeah. represent, then yeah, you talking nah, about nah, the fashion. I feel like it would almost be disrespectful for me to get on and all that and then put on no disrespect to everybody from all the miscellaneous states Idaho and all them or whatever but I feel like <laughs> it would be almost disrespectful for me to not put on New Yorkers that I see are going crazy all yeah, the even down to the D1 that. pops the shiggies and all that I, why am I giving other people from miscellaneous whatever yeah. opportunity before them who's easily at what they do you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying that's, that's, yeah. that's a fact so that's it so the support from New York I feel like now that the tape is dropped Yo, I don't even see no bad reviews right now. New York, they getting behind it. They just want, they just need, they just needed somebody to do some fly shit. Mm -hmm. And that's it. We here now. You feel me? So what type of, what type of fly shit do you have planned for the rest of the life for the project? Huh? Like your so project all, is good. I, I don't want it to come and go. Right. So usually what happens is people do a lot of, they put up a lot of big bag on the, it's coming, it's on coming, the on, the, on, on the pre. On the pre. Mm -hmm. No. Now that the tape is out, right? Now all the videos drop. All the, just some, these, some of these videos is animated on some proud family, like black ass, wavy ass art. You know what I'm saying? Then we got some of the videos that are different settings. So we got the music videos. Then I'm finally doing my first headlining show. Dope. Oh, please. I've been just playing with the people. Come on, come on. Come, come on, on now. Come on. Five. Come on. And now the headliner show, that's August 3rd. You know what I'm saying? All the the all the, the venue and all that's going to be, you know what I'm saying, announced in a second. So just make sure you get on my, my Instagram, follow all that. But it's going to be crazy. But then I'm doing my own tour around October. But right now, I'm just, listen, the tape is here. We just going to be everywhere. At all the festivals, I'm dragging it. I have no, 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 no plans on just chilling. I'm, I'm everywhere with it. We have the, the merch going crazy. Then the luxury brand VR. Vibe responsibly. That's the that's the clothing brand as well. We got all these things that we're pushing and all that. The movies that we're working on right now. So we're trying to get these movies out by like at least like September October. But either way, we got a lot going. On. It's a lot of push that we that you're, that you're gonna see from us. A lot of push. How yeah, many how I many don't, oh, how many videos you? I'm dragging like thirteen, and wow. it's possible, for sure, definitely possible. Don't you're not gonna trick me with all of these accolades. I'm gonna find something where you. I'm gonna find yeah. where you dropped the ball. Yeah, now find a hole. <laughs> the last the time you were here, mm -hmm. you told us about your executive plans for sure and signing artists and all that. Yeah, do that. I do wouldn't those be still able exist? to. Yeah, no, nah, they still they still here. I'm gonna start rolling out the artists and going real crazy in a second. Okay, you know what I'm saying. But I had to make sure that y'all trust Alapac the family yeah. with the brand now because now if I say. Um, my other artist is going to drop an album. Now you trust that the album, might, it might be out. Who put it together? Capella and them? All right, let me see what they're talking about. I mm -hmm. had to build the credibility. I had to show myself first, show the system first, and then make it make sense from there. But we about to be rolling out a lot. Have you ever been to the supermarket and seen somebody, like, mess up, drop something on one of the owls, and then they have to call for cleanup on, mm -hmm. like, owl seven? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you believe there to be anybody on your album that they had to call for cleanup on you? Like, was they album like they <laughs> what, like, like like they smoked me? Do you think that there was somebody that, that came... left me on the record? That's, that's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. Absolutely not. Wait, that was crazy. All right, I feel like they did. No. <laughs> on your no, album? No, probably not. I don't think your album. Is, is, you made the call. Is, it was your session. It was your song. You might even had a verse on it. Yeah. And that person showed up. Made me rewrite. Or, or you just, or you, you maybe should have rewrote. Maybe I mean, nah. 
nowhere on your album is what I'm saying. <laughs> Yo, I really went crazy on this album, brother. I don't no, know. No, I agree. No, that's facts. Yo, no, Joe, I'm just saying. I feel like even my Joe, just play. No, 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 no that's just, facts. Just play what you're trying to say, man. No, no, that's no, facts. Please play what you're trying to say. No, I'm not saying yeah. nothing. So you not Shout saying out to he brought the name. <laughs> on track I I have 20, there track was 20. no cleanup of this oh, Al, whole team Track song. 20? Oh, whole team. No. Whole team. No, no problem. I got you right now. Featuring Tory Lanez. Mr. No, no. <laughs> Mr. Lanes, did you hear this song? <laughs> <laughs> I got you right now. You ready Wait for this? Ma- yo, yo, hold on, yo, hold on, hold on. You talking about baby Be right? Give me a second. Tory Lanes oh. came. Nah, oh, you about to play it? No, 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 not right now. No, I'm not playing. Oh, all right. Play it when y'all ready. When y'all at home, play that. It's, cra- it's crazy. So I right, play it, nigga. Keep talking. Say something else. I play it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. When Tory Lanes came to the session, he came and recorded a verse. We said, "Damn, this verse is crazy." Then we went home and got another verse from Tory Lanez. A whole new verse. The verse that's on the album uh, right now is the third verse that Tory wrote. Uh, that's, no, play the song. Not my fault. I used to tell that them same stories about Fab. No, Fab came to rewrite. <laughs> yeah, but the one that went out is the one. Do be- uh, you think his verse better than my verse? On the one that was released to the public? On whole team, yeah. <laughs> yes, one million percent. Shout out Tory. One million. Get <laughs> Shout out Tory Lane. You should want someone to clean you up. Shout on out Tory Lane. Hey, and, and, and I'm gonna clean up my own. Yo, I'm I a will hope so if he wrote it three times. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a lover of the sport. You know what I'm saying? So I, I love this type. of everybody's supposed to feel like they had the best ver- this best verse on 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 my tape. But I just know I went crazy though, for sure. I thought Young and May was about to. Ah! Yo, it's too many yo, young niggas in here. There's too many young niggas in here to play like that. They're going here. Yo, and they nice too, so you can't say nothing. Yo, that's how I used to do it, nigga. Yo, shout out to Young and Mace. You went crazy on this, but yo, J1 went nuts on this. I like he had something to prove real quick, you know what I'm saying? And there's more to come, you know what I'm saying? We work on this project. It's about to get very, very nasty in a second. I know, very, I'm very nasty the, in a second. Listening sessions. I'm saying. Yo, whenever. Trust me, that's one of the ghosts out of this 914 period. Something wrong with him. Just him. Forget name, forget all that. He's just like, nobody's really fucking with J. Wan, come sit for a second. I'm sit Yo, for yeah, yeah. Come more. How about me? If there was ever somebody to make me feel like I'm that that's just outside a lot more than me, it's him. <laughs> this nigga be out the fuck side <laughs> with niggas. I was like, it's time to go home, man. Yeah. I like that nigga. You don't feel safe? I feel safe. Uh, that's when he the safest. I feel <laughs> old. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, you make you feel I old. Feel the safest. Yo, you heard him though. That's when he the safest. And I feel that Yo, way. Yo, young nigga in my hood too. But you're that. not just going home because of stranger now danger. You safe. You Sometimes see it's just time to hit the bed if you old. <laughs> nah, I feel like Let I feel the it. young nah. nigga, I like to wake up and see the niggas posting at 5 a.m. Hey, oh, after. Yeah. Yeah, I'm asleep. <laughs> yeah. I'm asleep. Yeah, All right. No you smoked it. Appreciate that. I'm telling the truth. Appreciate that. Smoked it. Come on. Hard ass you smoked it. it out now. It was a Fly shit out now. What's up? If we're being honest, it was a lot riding on your participation on that song. I speak all the time up here about how it's a lot of pressure when the beat is hot and the hook is hot. So now as a rapper, it's your job. Can I tell him the story? Nah. Well, you can do whatever. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. There was no hook originally. It was just a beat. I went to the studio to work on something else for him. Mm. So then how did it come about? Smoked the beat. Yeah, hook like was laid. It was all smoking 20 you minutes. You laid the verse before the hook was there? Something wrong with yeah. J1. That's what I'm trying to show you. Mm. Some niggas are just nice. Oh, so he hit the fucking pull-up bar before you. You had to show up. <laughs> <laughs> However, it and worked. you showed up. Hello. We have great What synergy. version did Young and May get? Did she just get a beat? She got, no, nah, she got. Nah, she got the verse with his, with his it would, uh, yeah, it had his verse on there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it had his verse on there. What song organically is 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 picking is catching catching people the most? Fly shit. It's between Fly Shit, Spotify, the the Tory Lanez joint is going crazy, yes. And then Fly Shit. Fly Shit is nuts right now. Fly shit and poison. All right. I do have poison queued up right here. 
Poison is crazy. Somewhere. This is Flash it, the hook though is nuts. The whole vibe is nuts. Are you is that still part of your vibe? Like fucking the girls that don't mean the best for you or just aren't the best, like the girls that are like that you probably um, shouldn't be It fucking. depends on the mood. That's why I say so many different moods on this. It depends on the mood. Cause sometimes I'll be in the mood where it's like, yo, it's you so fire. I don't I'm even doing give it. a fuck. I don't even give a fuck. Yo, come, come, come. We we come. And then there's some moods where it's where I'm on some. You crazy? You know who I am? I want you. I'm not even. You know, it depends on the mood. It depends on the vibe. That's what I'm saying. This is a song for everybody. I'm I'm with you on that. You know what I'm saying? He's anti-trick. I got to remember that. Are you tricking yet? He's against the tricking. Nah, I'm not really there with it yet. I'm not gonna lie to you. Stop. Too, too long. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're all right. no. we, got, we got you, nigga. The way you said it before, nah. Long. The way you said it before was nah, nah, because nah, stop. now what? we can make it stop. Nah, but my thing is though, I'm just being honest. When it comes to tricking, though, I feel like it's the, it depends on what certain people consider tricking, though. Because there's some right, shorties that, that you do a look of ones and twos, and they think it's tricking. I'm like, exactly. It's but still, we still did the we still did the ones and twos. I'm sorry. Try it to you this way. Not that you would ever need it. But if you got a call tomorrow and a young lady said, Capella, mm. I'm going to pay your rent for the next few months. Don't worry about it. <laughs> mm. would, would you be kinder to that person, you think? Or would you just not, would you treat them meaner? Like, what, nah, I what mean, would I don't really, nobody really got no horror stories about talking to me, though. I'm just being honest with you. I'm talking to all of them the same. I'm talking to even the ones that I'm not even really... That can't really do nothing. I'm talking about them all like they're saying, well, I go out and be here. They all feeling like they they wavy vibes. You know what I'm saying? You talk to me, you got a good energy. So even to show you that's tricking or whatever, I'm not really, even with that, it sound, it sound like tricking, but I've done that on some two months shit, but it was, it was like a little rent room type shit. So she might think of that's tricking, <laughs> but I spent a little, I spent a little one to two. So it just depends on where you are. When, you, when you did that, did you, when you did that, did you look for anything in return? Did you have anything? What's she going to do for me? I just paid. Exactly. <laughs> No, hey, yeah, no, hey. no, we were talking no, about, we were talking it, about the But you know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm looking for nothing in return. I'm not really interested in really too much of what. No, it's just to got do for me, it. Yo, it room. So it's not tricking if, if you got it. If you bitches is living in a room, Talk. you nine hundred to twelve hundred dollar <laughs> bitches, and a nigga come through with the room rent for the next few months. Oh, bitch, you goggling for this at least a year and a half. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I took care of the but room. But I'm not really doing Yo, that. Hey, come over here. I got multiple of those. Nah, but this, but, <laughs> I, but I'm saying, but I wouldn't even do that and unless the shorty that I know was doing that off rip. You know what I'm saying? That's all like off rip. She do it. She already on that type of time, and then it's like, ah, right, that's my little man. Eh. But mm-hmm. I'm not doing that in order to. As I said, you have no expectations. Yeah, it's over. Can I read? Can I read? Um, oh, a shit. tweet of yours. Okay, oh, boy. This tweet says Mm-mm. Drake is stronger now than Damn. before. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> if y'all know anything about the art of war, yeah. Drake is for sure stronger mm-hmm. than ever before. Mm-hmm. Kendrick might have just hit a ceiling. Please expound. <laughs> I feel, ah, uh, see? Nah, I should have said that was early today. Ah, all right, so look, I feel like realistically, Drake has an opportunity now to go. I feel like the next album is probably his most important album. Okay. So I feel like he has an opportunity to go crazy, whereas I feel like Kendrick. That opportunity does not exist for Kendrick, you're saying. Yeah, I don't agree. Yes and no. I, I mean, he's still, he's still, he's still, I, I mean, he still can go up. But it's just not, not as, as up as Drake. Yeah, nah. We ever the height of the whole beef thing is that they not like all shit. After that, I'm not gonna. I don't want to hear an album of him talk about Drake. I don't want to hear that shit. You no, know, I think you will. Nobody wants to talk about that. Nobody, 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 but that's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, what you gonna, what? So we gonna go back into the what story? Man, nah, they gonna fry me. But it's realistically, okay. it's like you know what I'm saying. Like we gonna go into. <laughs> we gonna, it's gonna be an album of of what? What we wasn't listening to it before. But it's gonna go, I feel yeah, like it'll go crazy. both ways it for both fe- of them. It's, it should be a blue thing in nah, Crisco yeah, right there. <laughs> <laughs> just pull up. I just, just feel like Drake has an opportunity to go stupid right now. I feel like it'll go saying. both ways for both of them. Yeah, Kendrick why? next project, he gonna have to drop bangers where we want to hear Kendrick make good music outside of deep Kendrick, and Drake gonna really have to rap 
for the people no, who doubt not. he can really I swear rap. To God, he's not. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yo, no, we know Drake, Drake gonna put, do Drake, but Drake he gotta, gotta rap. Do is regular Drake, do his hits, 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 hits. Then do the one or two tracks on the on the album where he's just wilding and just addressing just everything. Where we like, damn, 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 damn. More hits, done. Do the look why by the for the Caribbean. Then his agree. Canadian whatever the hell. What's the, what's the last album movie? Drake did that on? What's the last Drake that he did? What, 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 that he did what, 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 what you just said. What are you talking about? That he dropped hits, What are you talking about? He did the four, the four all the dog shit, and then he dropped the the, the, the shit when he was, when he, what he, he addressed, yeah. Honestly, never mind. What you said on this what, one? What, what hits was on last one? What hits was on for all the dogs? Don't do that, bro. Outside of no uh, funny Rich shit, Baby do that, Daddy. Bro. No, answer. Rich Baby Daddy's a huge one. What do you mean besides? That's one of the hits. You said hits. That has an S on the end of it. Hit, and then we have the other and one. First place shooter. I mean, uh, first person shooter. You about to name another hit? Yes. Cool. I'm asking no you. Problem. I'm trying that to help one. you out. And then, you ain't named And then the other one. Nah, good. no problem. You helping me out? Yeah, cool. appreciate you, brother. So that's two so far. <laughs> then he got to join that Cash Cobain did. Shout out to my man Cash Cobain from the Bronx. Vibes movie, and that was going crazy at the time. Why are you doing these things right now? You know exactly. That was going crazy about. where. Yo, you, you gonna get a feature, my nigga. Like, you know, I get it. I get it. We good and, right now. And, 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 and the way you doing it is fly. Like, I'm with you. But he outside. He, he outside. He whenever, yo, whenever the Kendrick stands feel like they even kind of look like that. I'm not what a Kendrick stand, like. nigga. You know I'm just, if you're a musician, that's what they're gonna say. Oh, you looking for a Drake feature? Yo, I'm, I'm good. I just dropped the album. I'm good. 22 of them. Would you take a Drake feature, yes or no? Of course. Okay, so we on the same level. Who wanna take a Drake feature? Wait, would you take a Kendrick feature? I'm not a Kendrick feature. We got him. We got him again. We got you, nigga. We got you. I don't. The only out Kendrick album I have downloaded is the the, the, the Pimper Butterfly joint because I was in a really jazzy era of my life. And then the <laughs> <laughs> and then the other joint. Now shout out to Kendrick. And the other joint. I'm not from I'm not from LA like that. I'm not really. You know what I'm saying? He make real. You know what I'm saying? That's his vibe. Oh no, 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 no. He got a joint with SZA. Vibe. What you did? What you whispering? I said I told you. You told what? Oh, oh shit! I don't, I don't think neither of you niggas is accurate. It's just it's, it's, it's I'm just saying, like realistically, he's the nigga along. I just feel like yo, yo, I just feel like there's like this narrative that like Drake is like done. I just, I'm just saying, I don't agree. He could never he's be never done. He's, yeah, he's not. He done could at never all. be done. And now he has the opportunity to go crazy. That's it. Nah, oh, I'm feature, it's me. He could never be done. No, huh? Drake ain't went crazy on an album since. <laughs> no, since that, what? Please, 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 please. Probably Scorpion. Yo, this Drake crazy in terms thing of what you were saying. So divided, it as really a does. We're so divided. No, as we're a not. What's so crazy is Loki. Everybody, all Loki knows in unison that Drake is not done. All this is. This, of I just feel like we all know. It. We all know that Kendrick is have like he definitely won this leg of the beef or however this go or whatever like that. In unison, mm-hmm. all right. What I wish you saying the, that Drake I is done. I wish you'd have been here a month ago. Before I hit my Drake quota for the month, because <laughs> then I could get into this with you. That's all but good. everybody don't you know. You can mute up. Everybody don't know what you're saying. But you can mute up though. All right, I'll mute up. You can mute up. I just feel you like got other people here. Man, I'm just saying. It is what it is. Everybody <laughs> don't know that. What, what 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 tells you that he's hit a ceiling? Who Kendrick? Yeah. What's is the certain shit that we don't really want to hear? No. But I right, see. That Yo, could be. Who's you the don't think weak? that's just who's your bias? The weak? A bias? Maybe. Could be. And they both about, got biases, though. And we're talking about a person in Kendrick that Possibly. reinvents himself every album. Is that Kendrick reinvents it? Absolutely. Nah, but look, they both got no biases. Two albums, right? No two albums sound the same that Kendrick has ever put out. And with Drake, you say, yo, what are we talking about right now? We're, we're you just said you just gave Drake formula for his album. You just gave the formula. Hits, hits, hits. He give you one where he talking about everything. Island vibes. That's his formula. So right. that means they sound the same. Let me He's ask doing you, the same well, thing. Let me ask you this. Nah, none of his albums sound the same. Drake makes playlist music today. Let's just don't make take albums this. no more. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Damn, Kendrick, most Kendrick, death? Kendrick's right, albums. Yeah. Uh-huh. All, most we could say most of them been classified as classics. Kendrick's albums. Kendrick's. All right. Almost cool. all of them. To Almost me, fair. Kendrick albums is like B side projects. <laughs> if we go, I'm gonna be real. They don't. <laughs> they don't, have, they don't do really have radio records. I, yo, <laughs> that's B side ish. But, all right, well, look, but yeah, war, but yes. Yeah, so so, so think of it this way. Think of yes. it this way, right? Mm-hmm. Let's just say he's been able to get to that level of esteem without having that, without having the, the go-to radio shit. Now he, no, but he low-key do. On, on so, you know what's so crazy? He low-key does have like mad radio hits. So like yeah, of course. Low-key, yeah, low-key. I'm just going based on what y'all But no, fine. No, but. Get, not only do we have mad radio records, but he's probably the only one with the record that we could guarantee it probably still be played a hundred years from now. Oh, y'all yeah, niggas shade. And Drake. A hundred years oh, from now. My, what Not no right radio now? record for your little fragile little lifetimes. Way after we gone, they gonna play We Gonna Be Alright. That's a fact. There's yeah. nothing to guess about it. Mm. 
Yeah. There's and nothing to guess. I, but I'm not saying that's wrong. Yo, yo, you know, you're mad right. And you're so telling me that Drake. I have no dog in this fight. That tone, that tone that we are going to like no, y'all's no, no, tone. No, look, no, no, look, after, look, can I say this something? Joe, knockout. Yo, Joe, we're going to lose it. We're going to lose it. We're going to lose it. Fix yo, your tone can I say up, something? Generation, I have, no, I have no dog in this fight. Cole's my favorite rapper. We know he backed out, right? Mm-hmm. But I don't agree. I don't, <laughs> come on. I love Cole fans <laughs> prefacing. Look, like you get what I'm saying? But I don't agree with Cap neither. Because his bias is both ways. He he think Kendrick hit a cap. He hit, he think Kendrick hit his ceiling. Yeah, but you're, No, you're, but look, if Kendrick drop a project now, for the people who didn't believe in Kendrick or think he could do records like that, now it's like... We want to see you but do see, it more. You can fair. speak to that because you but have a different understanding and appreciation for music. For music, yeah. But right. for Drake, oh right? Gosh. Hold on, look. For like Drake, though, right? Look, 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 we know he's gonna do something that is gonna capture the people, but what we want to hear, the Joes and the people who want to hear rap, this is he a, has to prove now. This is a generation. This, this is a generation. So, right, so the only thing I can say about that it's is a generation conversation. No, I mean, yes and no. So, so either way, even to, even on that, what I will say though about this, that they not like us shit. It's a rap ass song. Ain't no older tune or nothing. This is a rap ass song, and people are really appreciating that for sure. So I feel like it definitely opened an appetite for Kendrick for the, for the for the Kendrick. Yo, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that thing, you know what I'm saying? Base. It definitely opened up that appetite. So maybe a ceiling was the wrong word because he definitely has an opportunity to even make an album of some fire that people like have me heard, who don't listen to him. Have you heard appreciate. the damn album? Of course, I'm just asking because that's what he did with that album. He went and got with no, no, like but, a Mike Will. But no, but that's the, that's, that's, that's what he's saying. I don't I understand like nothing what he's saying. that's being done. On this I'm job. watching everybody on the side. <laughs> that generation, <laughs> that generation don't listen to the music even in the same places we listen to music. Right? They and outside listening to this shit. This so, oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so that's not you know what I mean. So you got to so you got to understand that they got not like us. I agree. Also, what y'all doing is also one of the things that I've hated about this battle is. The Drake fans are not going to force their thinking on the Kendrick niggas. And, vice and the versa. Kendrick vice niggas versa. are not going to force your thinking on the other side. And that's we just have fair. like this you like what you standoff. Like. It's that's really it. You like what but you like. But it's been about three months of a standoff at the fence just of points. Hey, hey you'll never never hear it. I really think their fans made it like, their fans made me hate it. I ain't been on Twitter for no, the last so month good, and a half. No, I feel like, no, I mean, and people have said this before. It's not a new idea. This, I mean, this is definitely healthy for hip hop for sure, especially because these are rap songs that are going so. Oh, loud. they lived up crazy. to it for me, buddy. I've mm-hmm. been waiting on that for years. But yeah, this That's, is like I, I didn't even know this was brewing. I've been so I didn't had no idea this was even brewing. Oh, no, this is so when I heard them on the future, so I, that's what I was like. Wait, 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 wait. Yo, yo, how would you how would you respond in the event that you had to pick a side in a music beef? And I'm not just going off of Drake Kendrick. Many New York artists were forced to do so during Ja Rule and 50, mm-hmm. right? So, if like, what would you do? It's in just that hard spot? in my situation because I'm really good everywhere. I'm really good everywhere. So, like, I can do a lot of collabs that a lot of people can't do without people feeling away because they kind of just understand that I'm not even, don't even, can't really play so I'm a musician type shit. And even in certain situations, yeah, I'm a grown ass man, bro. It's not even a possible thing for real. Flip, what you about to say? Yo, hold on. Jay Wong, your man told me that you be shooting at me on Twitter. Nah, nah, I do. We gonna talk about that. No, we talk about it. what? Huh? Huh? We gonna talk I'm about that. <laughs> we gonna talk <laughs> about that. I'm about to eat my burger, <laughs> nigga. He told me about that. <laughs> we gonna talk about that. He's shooting at me on Twitter. Nigga, wait, hold on. We gonna talk about that. Are this yours? Hey. <laughs> yeah, I like that. What's, what's, what's up, a lot of controversy. Wong? How you shoot at me on Twitter, nigga? What's up? No, I ain't shoot at you on Twitter. Your man just pulled me to the side. I'm about to tell you. No, there was something you did on here. And uh-huh. it rubbed me. It was cringeworthy. Tell me about it. I don't remember what it was, <laughs> oh, but it was like a. It was like it was like oh, consecutive episodes where it was just like it wasn't fitting for me. Like it wasn't fitting the oh, pod man. for me. Oh, right. oh, it shit. wasn't personal. It was just like come on, Jay. Eh. Why are you shooting at me on? T- come on, Jay. I, mean, I, I mean, shoot at everybody. I mean, 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 I
him. I told yeah, you I shot at him. We New York bro, niggas. You don't got to shoot at me on Twitter, nigga. I mean, nigga. you get suspended. I mean, so what? <laughs> no, yo, no, see, no, 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 well, see it had nothing to do with you getting suspended. It was something. No, I'm going to tell you what it was. I said, hurt me, Look, nah, man, you be all right. No, I wouldn't Look, so, no, if I tell y'all who I really shoot at, y'all be in tears. But look, it wasn't something, it wasn't specific. <laughs> oh, like, I have no no. beef with you. <laughs> but it was for, oh, like, it was consecutive episodes where it just was cringeworthy moments. And I was just like, he's taking the seriousness out of this he, shit. And it was fucking my vibe up. You're not going to talk about it. So, over. so you could, so you could, you it's couldn't curtains. just expect. No, I just was like, I ain't feel like you fit. You can uh, <laughs> Alright, cool. We have a nigga that's standing on this, so because <laughs> no, 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 Huh? It was Yo, numerous. The first one was like, hate, no. Hey, the, be, no, no, it wasn't hate. hate. I promise you, look, word to my mother, everything I love, right? The first one, was, I seen it, it was like, all right, flip on it, and all right, cool. All right, cool, respect. Boom, all right, seen the next one, you didn't say too much, all right, cool. All right, cool. Then it was like real serious conversations, you just kept saying the wrong shit, and I'm like, because <laughs> that's who I am, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to say the right the shit. Fuck, like, I'm not supposed to hate <laughs> Shit at the right time fuck and it. all the right shit at the wrong time, nigga. You can't write that. That's who I am, nigga. No, it's nigga. No, now that you say that, I got a different you approach. Say, fuck no, no, look, 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 no ass. Look, you now, that, relax, look, now that you say that, when your I, man told me I like you, he's like, I, I, now I gotta, I gotta listen to the record. I gotta hate on you now. Fuck it. Cause they have me hype. <laughs> your man started your flip. Ask Jay Wall. I'm like, yo, look, 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 now that you say that though, I, I appreciate it. Now when I watch it, I ain't gonna look at it with the bias of like, how you feel me? I got you. I mean, you know, it's just, we just New York niggas, man. That's and it. as a New York nigga, that's all that's I'm it here to, It wasn't giving it me New York nigga. I'm here no, to, no, no. Was, nah. I'm oh, here, I'm, nigga, I'm a New York nigga forever, nigga. I'm Simple. here to, I'm here to throw Simple. a wrench in anything, nigga. Nah, the I'm problem is, y'all niggas just <laughs> looking for one thing, one solitude. Not me, I'm, I'm gonna throw the wrench, I'm gonna fuck up the spots, that's me. I'm here to fuck everything nah, up. No, but you got, you got to appreciate it. No, and I told you, you what, you got to, you got to, you got to appreciate it. I'm gonna tell you what else it was. I'm gonna tell you what else it was. It was the video you jumping in the pool on your birthday. So what I gotta do the podcast? Cause you just like, you did that and you saying this like, ugh, come on. Nigga, I do, nigga, <laughs> nigga, what? That's why you hold up, nigga. Where you from? Where you from? I'm from Yonkers, you know that. From Yonkers. No, I don't know that, but now I do. No, I don't. You know that. I don't know that, but now I do. So now being that you from Yonkers, you from an area where niggas came up being themselves and don't give a fuck. When anybody say kissing them went from wearing shiny suits sometimes to right like I hate niggas that. just who I they hate are. Like just did, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. So what I'm saying is that you talking about birthday shit videos, of course, but you should respect it as a New York nigga that yo that nigga just do what he want. That's Queens. Nah, I no, I respect that as a New York nigga. That. That's but that's as a New York nigga, it was not wavy. A jumping in the pool. But we got the whole you. setup. It, the, everything I do what I want, nigga. Everything else, though, so we appreciate it. You good? You good? No, I respect that. I didn't like that. Jay was old. I didn't like that. Nah, simple. I didn't like that. He broke my heart. I didn't like that. But I was saying how nice this nigga was. I was, I was going to listen. I'm about to do my thing. No, no, no. But I didn't say I don't like that. Y'all can't nice to me no more. I just ain't like that. It's over. Fuck it. This is this. Know why this is so funny? Like, there really is. Like not much to do when your man kid is just getting it off. Like nah, I'm sorry, sorry brother. But you do that shit from your real account or you do it from burning? I don't got a burn. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. They want to go crazy. Yeah, yeah, I shit. didn't see. I got follow Yo, but why? <laughs> you can't. But wait, can you do that? Yes. Damn, you know why? All right, so you say it from me being in the position I'm in? Yes. All right, you know why? Because before, if we talking about from being an artist standpoint, before an artist, I'm a fan. Like, I'm really a student of music, For so real. I don't watch anything with biases. <laughs> Niggas that say my pops never had a whack verse, and I'll go, hmm, I'll bring you verses where I'd be like, wasn't whack, but it was not to his level. You are... This is, now son, from, uh, this is son privilege. No, it that's is. not son privilege. Nobody you know how many times he kicked me out of his studio for that? <laughs> you know how many times he said, yo, you got to go? 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm saying once you put on, I get it. We love music. We love music. You it's, do it. It's running on the pod. I stopped. I don't doing, like the coffee, nigga. I stopped doing Fuck music. It. I don't like the coffee, nigga. Fuck it. I don't like the coffee. Ain't that shit good? I don't like the coffee, nigga. Now I'm putting three and three together. I'll be like, slow. I don't like the coffee, nigga. Yo, yo, I'm slowly learning. I, no, no, no. Yo, I'm, no I'm, I'm also, I stopped that shit music to do it. Yeah, I'm also learning that, you know what I'm saying, even the position that I'm in. Y'all even, can't say certain shit fact. and no, be learning. active. You know why I don't, I, I, I feel that, but I don't feel it. You know why I don't feel it? Because all these rappers, entertainers, they be in studio sessions, close proximity, talking, the same talking shit. shit about niggas and right, all of that, right. and then get with niggas smiling their face. That's how this whole debacle between Drake and all of them probably spelled like they. So at least I said it. I fuck with you. See, I told you I said it. I, I fuck with you, hey, though. Man, I, I know that. said it. Like, first conversation. First, you first, in. first time first I was here, I told them, yo, you Yo, said I some dumb shit. What the fuck you say? You said some dumb shit. About I, the dip set, I tell you I versus. said it. I ain't talking my tail. He said that. Now, if you don't like me, that's your problem. Oh, Fuck it. Shit. I don't want to do songs like with a lot of niggas anyway. What's your Twitter? What's your Twitter, nigga? What's your Twitter? What's your Twitter? I'm going to send it to you. Send, send that shit to me now, nigga. What's your Twitter? It's tweeting, nigga. Jay Juan or N-U-G-G. I'm on your ass tonight when I go home. I can't wait. Capella. Yes, sir. Any Any butterflies about this... Show coming up in August or about the tour? Nah, so I feel like this is and my are you first doing time. Nah, this is my first time being able to do a full show. This is not a pop out at somebody's on somebody's set. This mm -hmm. is not a club appearance, nothing like that. This is all me. A lot of my fans know that I play the piano. They a lot of people don't know that I'm really a musician for real. So this is the first time that they're gonna see me playing the different instruments, really getting to really just show them the mm -hmm. different, you know, just taking them through the whole journey of things so they don't just think just the pella bop or whatever like that. Cause we really mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really a musician for real. You know what I'm saying? So, people Sorry, because well, people got to understand that our country, nigga, Jamaica, we got the most churches in the world, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? So we got the you cheat code. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Sometimes just the vibe from that or just the vibe from just being Caribbean, period, or be from New York. Mm -hmm. We and all the cheat codes. Yep. And I feel like you're going to see that more with the live shows. I feel like that's where you're going to really meet me for real. Because right now, I'm almost like a like a rumor, like a duppy right now. I feel like it's going to everything's more concrete when people are able to buy a ticket, come to the show, and see, oh, shit, the song that I heard on the album... It sounds way crazy alive. That arrangement was crazy. The whole vibe was different. You know what I'm saying? You still wilding on tour? Oh, for sure. <clears throat> I'm gonna be dragging it on in, that's October, right? Yeah, I'll brown October. You know what I mean by wilding, right? Huh? You hating on a nigga? No, I'm asking. For fucking bitches? I'm, I'm saying. Yo, nigga, why you sound clean? I answered it right. Yo, slow, 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 slow down. <laughs> Don't do that, Dan. Get to it. I fuck with him. Get at that so, nigga. Yo, know. That's my man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know what he mean. I ain't said I was going to do. Nah, I'm just saying, like, any, you know, all of us been on the road and stuff. You know, mm -hmm. how crazy it can I be. I was very disciplined and kept my dick in my pants while on the road, but speak about your experiences. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's P. That's P. Uh, you you learn any lessons just being on the road, just as far as how you should move, moving oh, a little different. Oh, um, I mean, I feel like we kind of came into the game vibing oh, responsibly because realistically, oh, you shit. haven't really heard of nobody that I really dealt with, and people. You know what I'm saying, I you do, sound I, like you might have spoke to somebody. Nah, 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 nah. it's uh -huh. so crazy. I don't even have to ask him. You never heard of it, bro. Nah. I can oh. tell you, you never heard of it. You are. I'm really the goat when it comes to that. We vibe responsibly for real. And knock it the yo, fuck off, man. Yo, nah, yo, I'm sick of his yo, shit. Yo, yo, nah, tell me, you my man on your side, nigga. Name three. I'm sick of shit. Don't even name three. Name one. You heard? And Gallus came out three years ago. You understand me? At the end of the day, we've been on. I've been on tour. I've been on Joey Badass tour. We moved around. We, I, I did. I got, I got to do a lot. Mm -hmm. We vibe responsibly. You heard? We don't really. You been overseas? Of course. We had the UK in shambles with Dave Vito. All the African. You already know the vibe. Hello. Oh, man. Oh, please. <laughs> I'd love to go in there. UK, Toronto. We Oh, we just had uh, Calgary in shambles. Shout out to DJ Mighty and, and, and my MC, uh, uh, Father Z. We just had Calgary, Canada in shambles. Beautiful. Um, it's a good NDA. Would you ever play an exit <laughs> song from the stage that would incite a riot in the audience? No, because then I lose the reputation that I have. That's not vibing responsibly. That's, it's not vibing responsibly. I it's feel not. like we, I, you know what's so far about this tagline, this vibe responsibly shit that we have going on right now? It's so wavy because we're making it cool to just relax that ass. Do some wavy shit. Do some fly shit. I feel like the stigma on New York, just artists, period, is just um, no disrespect to, to the other movements going on and stuff like that. It's beautiful what's going on and all that. I just feel like the stigma, the negative stigma, I'm just trying to delete the negative part of it because we have elite rappers in the town. We have elite singers, engineers, producers, all that. But we just making it wavy to just... 
Yo, wear some fly shit, man. Do some th- do something wavy. Pull up to the joint with mad shorties and do some do some fly. I don't want to be nervous when I go to a club. I want to go to a club and be like, oh, I know it's my man's and he got mad shorties with him. He got my other man's. He got mad shorties. He's got some brand new money. Do some do something wavy. You heard? Ha, Joe. Okay. I'm trying to make, let me just ask you a couple quick questions. Uh, everything in its prime, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, fire day party versus the fire club. Mm-hmm. With everything in its prime and everything, everything right now, everything in its heyday, um, clubs in their prime, day parties. I like day parties more because I I really recently, as of recently, started to value sleep more. He said he don't know prime clubs. Ain't no ain't no clubs no more. How, how can you, he know? It's mad clubs. clubs what is he talking about? Nah, ain't it's no, mad. Clubs. He just told you I'd be outside. Like, no, all types of anyway. Hold on, stop. When they Wait, talking prime club. We talking about like the tunnel. That's talking like tunnel speed and shit. No, no, I know you're the old. No, nigga. Not yeah, nigga. Yo, Ranger told me I'm gonna be fucking respectful. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, no, nigga. Y'all talking about me. Yo, did everyone twist? Sherry loud. Nah. Nah. It's over. At the end of the day, we already seen and heard all of that. My pops, if anybody know, if anybody partied uptown, you know my mm-hmm. pops, Sean Gray, yeah. you know Sewell's. We've seen everything. We know the whole vibe of the nightlife situation and all that. I just, as like I said, it's recent because you know I did the whole Gallus run and all that, but I, I've recently really started to value sleep. I like going to my yard. You are going to my crib. Yeah, but y'all still don't know that yeah. y'all don't y'all don't. When we speak of the club, the prom club, y'all have not. You talking about when y'all was wearing I button disagree. ups and shit? All, good. all that other shit. Drinking hypnotic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible Hawks, huh? Yeah. Incredible. Hold on. What make that? What make that? That was prom club for y'all age. It was prom club period. For New York. No. For New York. You really got bitches based on you. We st- as a post yeah, oh, right wait, now. Wait, 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 so now that becomes routine. No, 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 no. That so you're telling me for BMF wasn't niggas. getting more shorties than BMF was an the outlier. average person. Niggas B- got yes. pussy for having a BMF this t-shirt. Period on. in life. Period. The people, the men. Period. Since the beginning of time, the mm-hmm. ones with more lying? status had the more shorties. Niggas period. got ass what for having a BMF right t-shirt. If I walk into a club in the '90s with weight, with millions on me, right? They're treating me maybe a lot different than the average target clerk. Because everybody heard? got so a at the chain end of the right day, now. now right. Ain't nothing really changed. It is. What social fucking media? You gotta actually meet the person. I can't still. believe what's going on Bro. on this couch. <laughs> so, I can't believe. Yo, I don't, allow no, I don't like this. Come on, y'all. This, this I don't like this. Say shit is just a big ass generation of guys. Niggas with money. That's it. Like Listen, that's it. Men with money have been getting women since the beginning of time. Feed so what has changed? Nothing Even changed. when currency was rock. Come on. So you saying? So you're saying because? No, hold on. So you're saying because we got Instagram, Twitter, whatever have you, you could just DM a chick. They yeah. saying it's yeah. not fair you, because... Right, hold on, yeah. you can just DM a chick. You got to know what to say, though. Saying no, you don't. You got to have a blue, you you gotta have a blue check not and today. a rape in your picture. Not today. And she's right, So what right. about the oh, niggas without a blue check? That makes it worse. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, this is not it. Yo, it's so crazy. Let me tell you. It's so crazy. How would y'all know? Y'all not young niggas. Yo, I'm going to tell you. Y'all not young niggas. How would y'all know? Hold on. You respect old niggas. How would y'all know? That was But old, But older niggas are still fucking with younger women at this point. That's what I'm saying. still he busted back. So hold on, no, hold on, no, no, hold, on. Hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm hold on, hold on. I want y'all niggas talking about shut up. old Can't niggas the way y'all talking about. But y'all need honey packs and y'all Listen. leading with money and they still y'all leading, leading with and money and honey packs. Nah, oh, hey, yes, nah, we leading with experience and gray beards and eating ass. Nah, hold on, they like the ass. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, hold on. <laughs> Realistically, it's like this. Since the beginning. <laughs> 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 nah, it's all good. But either way, since forever though, if you have more money, you have more status, you have more power, 
Women's always been attracted yes. to that period. Yes. In the 90s, it was the same thing. There was niggas pulling up to the club that had that had that had the wavy calls and all that. We've seen paid in full. This is not a new idea. It was this hard not a to new fake thing. it. It was hard, it was harder to it was harder to uh, fake it at that point. Regardless Today, of you what can fake it on social regardless media of easily. what. It Listen matter. to this. That matters. And, and I was, disagree, because there was niggas going to the club in the 90s, no car, but it was fly as hell. They, they were able to fake what they fake. No, 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 you know what happened? What happened you is you went, you went and you walked to the club and you caught whatever chick that was, was of that quality that decided to fuck with a nigga who moved like that. You Today, don't even have to go to the club. It's been fun. <laughs> that's that too, yo. Nah, 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 right talk. now, nah. Girls don't want a nigga. You got to go outside. You got to go outside. So no matter how you cut it, you have to go out. Because hey, you could DM her right now. She want to go out to eat. You got 48 hours. And guess what you... Hold on. 48 hours. Jay, Jay, Jay. And guess what you got And guess what you got to do? Where you got to take her? Yeah. I like nice places, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Answer my question. Where you got to take her? That's unprivileged. So where you got to take her somewhere? You got to take her somewhere. But I know niggas that... Hold on. Empanada Mama. That's still pooling joints. <laughs> what do you say? Empanada Mama. Empanada Mama. Yeah, Empanada Mama. Empanada Mama. Yo, yeah, Empanada some Mama. That it don't matter. If you wave it, I'm telling you, it's all yeah. good. I feel like y'all have a distorted view of what's going on for real. It's really all the same you shit. You know really why, though, right? The quality of what we're talking about is different. You think so? So there's levels. There's levels and there's tears. And of the women. Wait, wait, no, no, hold on. There's levels and tears of the women that we're trying to attract and fuck with. Yo, they so there might be a so level of chicks that definitely. Let me hear this. There's definitely a level of chicks that's cool with the Empanada Mamas. 100%. Right, but most of the time, niggas of a certain caliber ain't trying to fuck with that chick. I completely they, disagree. I'm Facts. all the way. I disagree. Shorty, if it's a wavy shorty and they were me, I'm compelling me instead. I could tell he on something different. I could tell he on something different. He started talking about the CNAs and the third grade teachers and all that. He doing something different. I'm with Jay Capel on this one. I'm with him on this part. 100. What I'm talking about is this overall. Yo, they bro. can't really yeah, judge yeah, yeah, yeah. our age. Yo, we group got the bad Because we wasn't, so they wasn't. I only hang out with old niggas. I'm telling you. <laughs> you are my <laughs> child. You bad. You are my <laughs> You are my top <laughs> 10 rapper's son. Nigga, you I'm talking from judge. privilege. Top five. There you go. Ten. I'm top like five. I'm 48. Shout top five. Listen, yeah. Top five. You jaded, though. Top five. Jaded, though. Top five. You jaded, though. You I'm not jaded. From you, I'm not jaded. Your experience I'm is not different. jaded. I'm not jaded. Your experience Old is a I'm not jaded. Nah, but nah, but you don't even want to lose, but I'll tell you, he'll, like, he'll go bar for bar with things. I'm not jaded. You are jaded. I'm not jaded. Why you not jaded? Why am I not jaded? What? With him being top five? No, 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 no. Oh, no, your experience. No, not experience. No, he's top five. We talking about your experience. Oh, that, because it's not... It's not realistic to say that we got to lead with that. Right now, yeah, it's a lot of young niggas that are front, do all of that. And then afterwards, it you got to still be you. You like it, I fucked already. Huh? Yeah, like they so fucked, now, they fucked already. Yeah, they now to I got to be Yeah, now you got to show even even Bro, if I, I turn her off, I fucked already. That was what my goal was. I'm on to the next. That's for, been the goal I'm for 40 and there was bad Yo, you front just in seen my era. wood nigga told him no, I look better than that nigga. <laughs> we not saying it was a front in that era. We just said we just saying it was. It looked a little different, it and it was, was a little harder, harder to do and pull. It harder, only looked bro. different Shit. because there was no social media. That's, that's a big, that's a big difference. No, but it pull off the fake, the fake designer shit back in the day. So, so in order, in order, yo, so in order, listen. So in order to grab to get a shorty right now, sometimes it's not about all of that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just gotta be wavy. Gotta have a mouth. Wear wavy things, do wavy flops. Right? Can we bring out the bags, please? My four. So I got some shit for y'all real quick and some of the joints. My four. And I'm ready. I'm ready for gifts. Let me show you what's going on, man. City of New York, man. Serve me up. Let me show you what's going on in the city of New York. I'm looking man. for a vibe. So there's a box in there. There's the VR cologne. Very, very important. Very vibe. Oh, okay, you see, okay. right here, these are the drawers. We make. Hey, I don't wear no large drawers. Yo. Send my shit right through. <laughs> Swap with some miles. Yeah, this right here. I don't wear large drawers. So, yo, 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 yo. Hold on, my foot, y'all. So real quick, the VR. <laughs> right through. Large Thank you so much. Thank you yo, so yo, much. Yo, yo, yo. So medium. Look. With this right here, the vibe responsibly cologne. You understand what I'm saying? Very vibey, very wavy. Let me take a whiff of this vibe. Nah, do that because we made it. We made sure it's a competitor. You heard? Uh, okay. A competitor. You understand what I'm saying? Wait, who's a competitor? Yo, yo, yo. Let's yo, what, 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 what name again? Um, Creed. What's the other one? Uh, Baccarat. All that. <laughs> them dead. Look, them this dead. vibe responsibly vibe right here. Very, very important. Very vibe. It stayed on your clothes. You can't beat me, but you could probably smell like us for a couple hours. It's staying on there. It's on there. <laughs> Some oil base, it's the oil base. You know what I'm saying? On? Real strong with the vibes. Trust me, you don't even want to get into the, you know what I'm saying, the ingredients. We get right. Trust me, it's different. All right, when you get so, home and you add that to your vibe, it's different. So you Trust want me. me to not buy Creed no more? It's no need for you. You can buy whatever you want to. I'm just saying there's no I need bet. to if you have vibes like this in your arsenal. It's not bad. It smells like um something from back in the day. 
It's more like a responsible vibe. Oh, that's too. not the nigga in the club that's doing too much, trying to yell over the music. Nigga, this nigga try to remix the old 90s Mark Jacobs shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to remix that Jamaican shit. John Boy and Gautier and shit. You want to smell it? I know that. That shit smell good. I know what you did, though. That shit smell like when I dropped out of high school, nigga. My father had all them shit, nigga. My father had them. My father was Jamaican. Yeah. You don't got this right. That's why I said he's fire vibes, boy. If I was this, I'm gonna get a tune with these yeah. niggas. Nah, you're yeah. like my man. That's I'm fire. on his ass too. Well, Look at my Twitter. That's I wasn't fire. even there, so I couldn't bite off nothing I wasn't born for yet. But if it's a familiar vibe, what, was people spraying that on when they was getting shorties? That market, what are we at the market? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yo, niggas shout out to Sour Posse, Posse man. Versace Blue Jeans. Smite the smooth Sour Posse niggas. Very, very wavy. You see these right here? These are people like this. Look, these are called the vibe steppers. Very important. This is not the vibe. You know what I'm saying? Put these on, stick on to the vibe. You know what I'm saying? This is going crazy proof. Now, look, one more thing I just want to talk about real quick. My for a last thing I want to talk about. But that was his Now, don't worry about it. Now, we good. That August 3rd show, we're going to make sure everything's available. It's a movie. So now, look. You understand this right here? These drawers right here. Everybody had Ethicas. And what the other one name again? P PSD. PSD. These right here are get out of the car proof if you know you know. Real quick vibe. You can get out of the car quick. Nothing riding. You're good. You're safe. <laughs> Yo, you, need you heard? <laughs> no plumber vibes. No nothing. You're good. This nigga said no plumber vibes. You understand me? That's no, hate. it's none of that. I you're do. good. The brand is durable. Extra sturdy in the vibe. I'm trying to show you what's going on. Oh, you heard? Man. And that's just for you. This is this oh, back right here? Man. That's just for you, Ish. Vibe steppers. There's different colors in the ATF hat. You know, very standard. Not standard, but you know, hats and all that. But we have... This right here is for people that could dress. Not everybody could put this together. They, can, they don't even know what to do with these type of vibes, with these color, this colorway. They, don't even, they wouldn't even that's know what facts. to do. Talk about but it. But I yeah. trust that niggas like this that's on this couch could put this together. I already Come know. On. You know what I'm saying? Right, do your thing. Oh, this is great. Oh, please. What them know about thread count? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to show you what's going on in the city of New York. Very vibey, very wavy. These are just the t-shirts. Alex, look, this ain't food alone, but none of that. You see that tag right there? It's not that gilded. Please, it ain't that. <laughs> but yeah, so realistically, sometimes it's probably not about the bread going into the club with your chains on and shit like that. Maybe you just need to put on some wavy shit like this with a wavy shirt or something. It smell good. He you know told like like one of them DJ niggas at a party and drinking it. Nah, he told me. <laughs> like, like, listen, 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 this is what we you do. You got the voice. You got the voice. You understand me? So realistically. This nigga sell me anything. He good. Coming out. Yeah, so, yeah, so, yo, so at the August 3rd show, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you follow us because it's going to be available and all that. All these vibes going to be here. Make sure y'all, you know what I'm saying, do what y'all do. Yeah, but what type of audience you bringing out? The baddies for sure. Baddies in the steppers. Like what Usual. percentage? What you think the ratio will look like? Ratio? Uh, realistically with my yeah. fan base, I would probably say probably like... Like 50-50, right? Heavens no. Like 80, Come on, 80, 60, 40, 60, 40 dudes? 85, 80, 80, 80 20 is. 80, 20 is to be fair. Because the fellas definitely dudes. support. Shout out to the fellas for sure. It's just beer gal for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Shout out to them. Shout out to y'all. Love y'all. August y 3rd. But yes, August 3rd, very important. August 3rd. And you say you ain't, you ain't announced it yet. You ain't. I ain't even announced it yet. So this is where I'm going to... Well, I'm announced it on well, a Monday. Sad, that's that's sad, so that's by this time, it'll be out night, for sure. August 3rd. In New York, though. Saturday night. So my birthday, Big Leo, August 2nd. That's the that's the Friday. I'm a Leo too. So stay tuned for that, because I might move miscellaneous that night. But you know what I'm saying? I might say the energy for the show. We don't know yet, but we, yeah, just, just follow you me. You gotta have going to party on. somewhere after the show? Everything going to be to announce, to be announced. <laughs> let's do it the right way, whatever. TBA. Let's make a scene. Let's make, it, let's make it a scene, if anything. You know what I'm saying? All right. That's it. Right. Come out. Yeah. Come out. But yeah, listen, look, listen, this listen. year, fellas, we're not smelling like Irish Spring or smelling like nothing. Let's make sure that we, we smell like a vibe for real. You heard? You know what I'm saying? Let's make sure that we don't got no holy draws and all that. Let's get some vibe, vibe you know what I'm saying? Some good shit going on. Your socks and all that. We don't got to wear the old, the old white nasty socks or your old web the fuck. Get a new, you know what I'm saying? New Arsenal of vibes. Whole new socks. Get like 50 of them shits. Do something miscellaneous. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. The what, album is out. What they call the, the Capella draws? What's the name of them shits? The vibe? No, draws? so the socks, the vibe steppers. We I'm still I still gotta I still I gotta ask the shorties again what what we gotta name the the, the, the draws. We ain't got the draws. But the car proof. Huh? They, they plumber proof. Plumber proof. Oh, what are they? Oh yes, plumber proof, get out the car proof. <laughs> get out, get out the car, car proof. proof. <laughs> Low car too. Low riding. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> I'm trying to show you. And the niggas without a car, right? Because you want to appeal to... Yeah, you get off the bus, yo, yo, You want to appeal to all... Even the material. That's the down off the bus. Come on now. Whatever they that know, bullshit I'm trying to, What they know about said. ventilation. They don't know nothing about that. I'm trying to show you what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> yo, this nigga's crazy. Yo. Hello. Like crazy, yo. Now, how much time will, will your fans have to wait in between projects this time? Mm-hmm. Not long at all. We already made the statement with this one, so I could come with a new one probably, rah, realistically, for my next tape. Cause y'all heard the Christmas date? Mm-hmm. Oh nah, it's brick a holiday vibe. Very mm-hmm. important. We dropped we dropped that this this Nigga, this past. Hell no, I didn't hear that. No problem. We got you. you I got crazy? you. Crazy. I got you. We got Lady London on there. It's Dream Doll on there. Jay Wan's on this. Great project. And now the good thing about that project is it's so fire. It's so New York. It's so us. It's so Christmassy and all that that we could every single year we can Mariah Carey the vibe. It's just so much wavy. It's just it's just us. You are so yeah. So we we got that tape. We are gonna be pushing heavy, even though we dropped it already. We are gonna be going crazy with that. My next tape, VRV two. Realistically, I don't really need to until like probably twenty twenty five. Let's do a whole new that complete thought. That ain't bad. Yeah, you ain't gotta rush. You know what I'm Let's do a Nobody's whole complete thought. I understand there's certain artists that will put out a lot of mixtape. They put out a lot. They flood the the the, the market. Nothing wrong with that, and that's nah, beautiful. Get, get, get everything beautiful. that you got to get out of this project. I I rather yeah. There's so many different moments. We have one song with Jada Kingdom and Dream Doll and Journey Montana. It's called Bougie. That's a whole different energy. That's a whole different vibe. Fly shit. When that video dropped, that's a whole different vibe. You know what Jada I'm saying? Kingdom came to the studio. You emailed that over to her. Nah, she sent that, but we be out. What? Just, just around. You, you know, know her. Uh, yes, for sure. <laughs> Just listen, yo, 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 yo. The answer is yes, for sure. You heard? Dream Doll, all them baddies. It's a movie with the Tory Lanez joint. Yo, yo, shout out to Party. That's my man's. You are. It's beautiful. You know what I'm saying. Shout out to all y'all. You know what I'm saying. Out there, it's a beautiful thing. Yes. That's so my yes, man too. But no, absolutely. We ain't that much mm-hmm. of man. We put the period right there. <laughs> So yo, we got that moment, the Tory Lanez moment, Fly shit is a huge moment. Poison, we didn't even drop the video yet. Jaquees, the slow song with 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 uh, uh, the, the uh, what you want. We still didn't even drop a video to that yet. We didn't drop the song with Mari Don and Skillet Bang. That's called Money Pull Up. That's a whole different moment. There's so many vibes on this tape. We are gonna be doing what we do for the next year. Well, Absolutely, that's far. I agree with everything you said. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are a lot of slaps on here. I am gonna come to that show. And just check out the ratio in there and see what's going on. Oh, for on. sure. If you Great have, mathematics at that show. You understand if, me? If, gonna be real if there's afties or something, I guess I'll stay glued to the socials, to close friends or something. <laughs> y'all, I'm gonna be, I mean, y'all gonna be using my Instagram like more because I feel like my page has been so ghetto over the past couple of years. I'm gonna have it, all the content. We're gonna make it real. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna see some shit. It's like the evolution of Capella. Y'all getting to watch me grow and all that. You know what I'm saying? The content gonna be five. We do a show. It's not gonna, it's gonna be a thread of all the Instagram videos I got tagged in. Now we doing the. <laughs> The recaps and shit like that. I'm here for it. I'm ready for this next era of Capella. So am I, pause. You know what I'm saying? And pause the old watch me grow thing too. That you know what I'm saying? We I used to feel like we need this. You know what I'm saying? We just what? need something vibey. We here, man. Shout out to all the other movements. Shout out, yo, shout out to Cash Go Bane. He's going crazy in the city. Shout out Ice Ice Spice. She's going crazy right now. Hey, Boogie is still going crazy. You know what I'm saying? The Bronx is on fire right now. And there's so many moments. There's so many movements that don't even sound like each other. And we still Cash Go Bane on my album. We making everything. Now this. That's one of the most streamed on Apple music right now. Shout out to Cash Go Bane. We're going crazy right now. So I feel like it's gonna be a great era for New York music because there's so many different vibes that just you know what I'm saying. That's its own entities. We here. Does anybody have final words for Capella Gray? No. Keep Salute. doing your thing, man. Salute. Keep doing your Salute. thing. Thank you, brother. Keep working. Work. Appreciate you. Let's make noise for Capella Gray. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Our doors open to you. Appreciate you. Our doors you. open. So yes, sir. I can't wait to see it. Nothing but love, luck, <laughs> success. Salute Jay Wan too, man. Yeah, Salute Jay Wan. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Don't forget to get Flip your Twitter. Flip got oh, beef yeah. with me. <laughs> Nah, he good. Oh, shout out to Jay Wong. Yo, shout out to my nigga Bearded that's here. You know what I'm saying? Bearded is the the the, the, the other half of his brain that, that really helped with this the putting together this project. You know and what I'm saying? He's real musical. He play all them instruments. He, oh, and he produced Flash. Shit. There's something wrong with him too. Uh, shout out to Mizzy Lot as well. We had some real dope producers and all that. So shout out to all the producers. Shout out to all the engineers, all the people that are involved in this project because we got some crazy shit. It might end up being a new New York classic for sure. So congratulations in advance. And yeah, that's basically it. That's Yo, 70 of these niggas all up in the smoke. 87. Deep as hell. Look, y'all are leaving the only one clap, right? Like, <laughs> you're clapping up for us. Bobby, clean. Lady 
easy. I can't see this right now, but all the niggas, I pull up with a whole bunch of wavy, vibey, uptown yeah, niggas. Yeah. Smell good. Look at the look. Yeah. I, mean, I wish I could see it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Some people think I'm going on, man. I don't talk about it. Talk that talk. I'm going to talk about anything. Hey, <laughs> But yeah, it's a word. So yeah, we outside and shit oh like that. Bob is the album out now. <laughs> word. Word. <laughs> All right, well, we're looking forward to see the rest of the wave, man. Remember to vibe responsibly. If you work here, we're continuing. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. All right, whoever that applies to. I know sometimes Mel will try to sneak out with the guests. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what the That's fuck? literally no, such a lie. Like that. Just sneak out <laughs> oh from the work day. It's as, lit- literally as a lie. Guest leaves. All right. Thank bye, you. bye, everyone. Yeah. Yo, 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 Mel. Yeah. yeah. Are you okay? What? Yeah. <laughs> Your arms look like the nigga had to yoke you up. He grabbed you. Like I, you. This, you that good? was. I told you. That's why I was scratching my arm. On the both other sides, day. though. I said I had two immunization shots on both arms. I think a nigga grabbed you and shook you up. No. You know what a nigga like this. <laughs> Yeah, no. Did you get the Moderna? No. Oh, she got the J&J. You got to put something on there. You got the <laughs> A&D ointment. It's fine sure. now. Oh, okay. A&D Does, Does it hurt? Them? Does it oh, hurt? You got to get bleached. No. You got to bleach your shoulders. You got immunized for what? Um, rabies. It was rabies. like... Yo. Rabies. Not going to I'm still my shit. She's just... eating wild chicken. <laughs> This nigga said, "Make nigga didn't clean it properly." <laughs> what you got? Yeah, what do we got? Immunity? I went to get a physical, and I had a couple of immunizations. I had to get like Hep, whatever, and something else. I can't remember. Oh shit! Hepatitis C. <laughs> oh shit! Nah, this is crazy. Don't do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I would never. But boy, that's funny. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah. Damn. Full thorough examination. Don't skip a test. Well, no, they skip the STD test because it's unnecessary. Hmm? Getting your bag. Hmm? You're with the fuck, huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> huh? You're with the fuck, my pot sister. Why is it unnecessary? Because I ain't uh, fucking. No, could've, that but that's not always true. Could have got it from a toilet seat. Oh. What? Oh. And 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 Are and crabs those, making a comeback. Those, those, those diseases linger, so one test could be negative, and then go a couple of months later and be positive. You heard what my pod sis said. That's I true. ain't did no fucking niggas. <laughs> Fuck y'all little podcast. Ha ha he he. I let it ride a little too long. Last part. You ain't here, my sis. Huh? It's true. By the way, have you guys ever lied on your dick? No, you know what? <laughs> it could be interpreted 20, 20 a couple times. <laughs> well, now they won't plug shit out. Choo 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 choo. This guy's a fool, yo.